This is another project I have going on. Too many. Uh, this one's actually coming along pretty good though. It's a 97 S10. And it's kind of dark. I don't know how well you can pick any of this up. Uh, I put a 5.3 in it. The motor that I was going to put in the Camaro. And uh, not only kind of made my own mounts and I already did all the wiring actually um, it's wired up just missing a couple things uh, just painted this radiator support and I need to do the exhaust <clears throat> they're actually going to come forward a bit and then make a 90 and probably just come out through the fender here. There's not much room in an S10, especially with the uh, steering shaft here, which you probably can't see. But I've, I've had to switch that out for a Jeep steering shaft, and I also shifted the steering column over to the driver's side more. And I shimmed the gearbox. Oh, there's the second light, come on. I shimmed the gearbox to get it kind of further away also the exhaust manifold has been this is the passenger side exhaust manifold and what I've done is cut off the EGR tube mount and kind of laid a piece of pipe in there just to try to give it some more clearance on the steering shaft no interior uh, well it's got door panels but otherwise no interior. I made a. I still got to mount the fuse panel over there. Clean up some of the wiring, but everything's fused standalone. The, the truck, all the lights still work on it. Headlights, turn signals, brakes, and then I added a separate fuse panel for the engine. This is a radiator I got. Um, these fans are from a Dodge Stratus and they fit really well they're a little wide and I took a heat gun kind of heated them up and that seemed to have worked and then I'm just gonna it doesn't take much to hold it down here I probably just drill a hole and run a, a bolt and some washers gently through the radiator here these are on the front of the radiator, which i um, hoping that will work. I guess we'll find out if it starts running hot. The only issue is in order to mount the fans in front of the radiator, I would have to recess. I went behind the radiator, I'd have to recess the radiator into the core support. And to do that, you have to cut out the bottom, the top, and the side. And I don't really want to do that much cutting to it, only for the fact that it's going to be flimsy. And then I'm going to have to come back through and try to reinforce it. And by that time, I would honestly just prefer to buy a better fitting aluminum radiator like an aftermarket one and put that in it then put the fans on the back side and then I'm sure I won't ever have any cooling issues but for now I'm just gonna try running the radiator in the stock location and put the fans on the front um, this is more of a toy anyhow of course I, I'll probably drive it to school or something if I get it done but I don't plan on dailying it but all the wiring's done um, the fuel lines are done. Um, these are all just leftover wires from the truck. I guess one day I would like to go through and thin out the harness, but everything works right now. So once I get the exhaust done and put a radiator in it, um, it should fire up and run, hopefully. It ran when I pulled it out of a truck. These are the transmission cooler lines. I'll probably mount those a little better. 
And then this big cable on the ground is a one gauge wire that I'm going to come up through the bed with. And I got a battery tray. I still need to bolt down and mount my battery back here to give me more room up front. But yeah, hopefully I'll be putting out a lot more videos. So it's got a 4L80 transmission in it. I need to get a dry shaft made for it. It's not too expensive. And um, let's see. I actually have a I actually have a shifter. It's out of a Monte Carlo SS, but it was a you know four-speed automatic shifter. It seemed like it would be easy to mount it to the floor and run a shift cable to the transmission. So hopefully you guys will uh, see me finish this soon. It's got a lot of work done on it. It's taken longer than I would have liked, but honestly when I'm working on it, it I get, you know, we make some big progresses. So I'm pretty excited about getting all the wiring done. Alright you guys, well, keep an eye out for more videos from me.